This is 55 TV, we are 55 Factory. We are at the amazing King's Cross Renaissance St Pancras Palace Hotel. It's something truly stunning here. We're with Horace Panther from the specials and he has an exhibition coming up in November, I believe, isn't it? November the 22nd. November 22nd through December the 3rd at the Strand Gallery in John Adams Street. There you go. Great. Um, firstly, you're on tour again with the specials. How is that going? Um, remarkable. Um, I was 58 earlier this year. And, and I'm a pop star. I just, that's just extraordinary. No, we, we had two weeks in Europe uh, in September, October, and then um, we've just started. We've, we're, we're just about to finish like uh, three, four weeks of shows here. And, you know, where do they all come from? You know, they, they're, they're all here. Most of the shows have been sold out, and everybody has a great time and with all these songs that were recorded 30 years ago. It's, it's, it's amazing. It, it really is extraordinary. Well, it's not really that extraordinary. I mean, your music's just legendary, and, and, and as a band, you were just a real moment in time. And um, how long has it been since you toured as a group since? The specials originally split up in 1981, um, so it's like it's sort of 30, 31 years. But, it, but we have a lot of people who come who um, say that were, were 10 when the special started, so they were really into it, you know, had the, the little Harrington jacket and all that sort of stuff, but they were never old enough to actually see the group. And now, and now they, they can, and um, yeah, and everybody has a, has a really, but they bring their children. So we have this sort of new generation of people who, who come along and, um, you know, and, and know all the songs, which is amazing. It's great. And your music's legendary. I mean, it, it doesn't go in and out of fashion, I don't think. I mean, it was, on, it was underground, really, even though it emerged into, like, popular culture. It was of its time. So, I mean, let's forget the age and let's forget, you know, coming back, it was just about time. You, just, you left it quite a long time. Was it 30 years since you performed together? Yeah, yes. Yeah, so, um, there were sort of various sort of reincarnations. We never sort of, like, lost touch with one another. Um, but, uh, the whole, there were, but six out of the seven of us, you know, yes, it was the first time in, like, 30-odd th years. But you're right, the songs are timeless. Mm -hmm. And that means music, that rhythm, you know, ska is just such a, a, just a fantastic rhythm, you know, ska, reggae, you know, it's the sexiest rhythm in the world. Sure, that is the only thing which is so surprising, it's been 30 years since you've performed together, it should have been a lot sooner. How has it been? Has it been odd? I mean, did you lose touch with people for uh, like a, a majority of that time or were you always in touch and, and not that it was going to be a matter of time that you were going to perform again, but was it easy to come back together? Um, Yes, those songs are like ingrained in my DNA. When I left the specials, I played with a band called General Public, which was with um, Dave Wakeling and Rankin Roger from The Beat. And you ask me to play a General Public song now, and I will struggle, but you ask me to play a special song, and it's like, yep, yeah, okay. I mean, we, we were rehearsing, uh, um, Brad and I were playing together, and, and a couple of times he said, I, I totally forgot what was coming next, but I instinctively did it. And like me too, you know, those songs are just like, well, that, that's like the, the you know, that's the, the, the defining time of our lives, you know. Yeah.